Uh, this is a VAV box. Uh, VAV box. Uh, we have complete FX uh, PCV controller programming. Uh, uh, now we load a program uh, to to uh, to the VAV box. Uh, this uh, this is the uh, PCV uh, 1832. Uh, this is a PCV controller. Uh, we load the program to this controller to control this VAV box operation. Uh, VAV box, uh, there is a damper uh, inside here. Uh, there is a damper inside the duct. And this is the damper shaft. Uh, this is a damper shaft. Uh, here, this is a fan. VAV box, and also you can add some uh, heating or cooling source, uh, uh, like the uh, electric heater, you can add it to the uh, VAV box. Uh, this controller uh, is used to control this uh, VAV box. Uh, the controller should be installed horizontal way, uh, horizontal direction. Uh, now we are going to install the uh, thermostat. Uh, thermostat uh, RTD temperature sensor and a Bluetooth device uh, to, to here. And also we'll use this controller to control some equipment in the trainer. Now we install the power uh, 24 volts, uh, 24 volts supply to the controller here, uh, this terminal. Uh, this, is a, this terminal is a 24 volts supply to here, of the bottom here, these two terminals. Uh, in this panel uh, here is the uh, 120 volts power supply uh, to the, uh, this is the transformer, uh, supply to the transformer, and then transformer 24 volts uh, supply to this controller. How we connect these two Twenty-four volts uh, supply to the controller. This is a hot. So connect to here. Yeah, this is the power supply. Uh, the and then we connect the thermostat. And we connect the thermostat to the controller. Uh, this is the thermostat. Uh, this is the thermostat. This thermostat, uh, this part is the thermostat. And here is the uh, occupancy sensor. Uh, this thermostat will connect to SA bus, uh, which is uh, this terminal, uh, this terminal. So uh, we use this cable, uh, this cable, there are four, uh, uh, there are four terminals. Uh, these four terminals will connect to SA bus. So we uh, thermostat connect to the SA bus here. Uh, the white color, uh, the white color is the uh, positive. Uh, the black color is negative. And yellow is common. And the uh, purple here it's the blue color. Uh, blue color is the power for the SA bus. So this is the thermostat. Uh, this thermostat is installed in the room. Uh, 
or in the room. Uh, this one. <coughs> now we connect the uh, Bluetooth device. This is the Bluetooth device. Uh, this Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth device is used for the uh, the com uh, communication from the, uh, from the computer and the controller uh, through this Bluetooth. Uh, we load the program uh, from the computer uh, because we complete the uh, PCV controller programming. We complete the programming and then we load the program uh, to this controller see, through the Bluetooth device. So we connect this one to here. Uh, this one, they need the, because of this pin that uh, we mentioned before, uh, this pin is eight pins, but the uh, Bluetooth device, the connector, this connector, it's a six pin. Uh, so we, we have to use an adapter uh, to change the connection uh, to connect to the controller here. We have to use a uh, uh, this is a, a, a Y connection adapter. Uh, this is a Y connection adapter. Uh, this uh, this connector is eight pin, uh, eight pin, and here is a six pin. The Bluetooth device. It's connect to here. <coughs> now we connect the uh, the controller, and also we uh, install some uh, sensors, uh, some sensor like the temperature sensor. Uh, the temperature sensor we use a. We use a uh, RTD. I uh, use a uh, RTD. This RTD is resistive uh, type RTD. Uh, resistive type RTD. Uh, the uh, the resistance of RTD is a ch change. Uh, the resistance change with the temperature. Uh, if the temperature increase the resistance increase. Uh, if the temperature uh, decrease, and then the resistance decrease. So we, this one, we use uh, uh, RT, this RTD for the temperature sensor. Uh, it sends the temperature at discharge air temperature in the program, uh, in the program. Uh, in the program, the RTD sensor is installed Input one, that's universal uh, input. It's analog input, uh, analog signal uh, input. It's an input one. Uh, here, this controller, uh, this controller here, this is a universal input, uh, which is, a, is the um, uh, analog signal input. Uh, this one, install input one, uh, input one. So we connect this one to input one. Uh, input one. And later we use uh, this RTD to simulate the temperature change for the discharge air. Uh, we use this one. Uh, uh, now we connect the uh, controller to the system. We use a FC bus uh, cable connect the controller to the system. Uh, this is a FC bus connector. Uh, uh, the wires we just uh, follow the color code. Uh, follow the color code. The red color is positive. Uh, the white is uh, negative. The black 
it's common. Black, it's common. And then the green, green one is for the shield. A shield. This connector, and then connect to FC bus. So now we connect the uh, FC bus uh, to the controller. Uh, the controller. Uh, we have complete the uh, system installation for this control uh, for VAV box uh, for this controller. And now we supply the power to the system here, uh, and then. We load the program from the computer to this controller. Okay. Now we turn on the power. Uh, you can see uh, the light is on. Uh, the light is on. Uh, and see the uh, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is on now. Uh, here, uh, this is the, the power light uh, indicator, uh, power indicator, and this is a fault indicator, and this is a FC bus because we connect the FC bus, uh, and uh, this is the, the link. Uh, link. And now we start, uh, we start the, uh, loading the program uh, to the controller. Uh, you can see the the controller here. Here the uh, these are the indicators, uh, indicators light. Uh, in, in here indicator uh, the power, power, and here is the fault, uh, and here is the SA bus. Uh, SA bus we connect the uh, uh, the thermostat. Uh, thermostat is on. Thermostat is on here, uh, and uh, so here indicates SA bus. It's connected. Also here, uh, um, here indicates the FC bus, uh, FC bus. But the uh, for now, uh, FC bus is not connect to the system yet, so the light is off. Uh, it's off. Uh, <coughs> okay, now we start. Uh, we start loading the program uh, to this controller. Uh, now we start. Uh, we start to load the program uh, from the computer to the uh, controller. Uh, uh, the program we have complete. Uh, we have complete. It's uh, saved in somewhere. Uh, so now we just open uh, open this program. Uh, uh, click the program. Uh, you save. Uh, open it. Uh, open it. Open this program. Uh, this is the, the program we have complete. Uh, here is the overview for this program. Uh, before uh, before we load this program uh, to the controller, we need to check the uh, some variable setting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one. Just uh, put the uh, uh, here. Uh, put it here. Uh, no, no, no. Just uh, yes, yes. And can see uh, the signal. You can see the signal. Is this one is a digital velocity pressure? Uh, this is a digital velocity. Pressure. So this one we uh, we don't need to change. Uh, this is an internal signal. Uh, this signal is from. The signal, uh, the signal, uh, the, uh, the velocity, uh, the velocity uh, pressure signal. This is uh, from 
uh, these two tubes, uh, on these two tubes. Uh, the sensor is inside this duct. Uh, this, uh, this sensor sends the, the pressure uh, differential, the input to the controller here. The uh, <coughs> uh, discharge air velocity pressure, uh, we, did, we don't need to change it. And then the SA, uh, these are uh, supply air temperature. This one we need to check it. Now this one's a uh, resistive, uh, which is the RTD we use. Uh, this is a resistive RTD. It's okay. Double click. Uh, check the uh, calibration for the RTD. Uh, RTD here, uh, if the temperature is 32, uh, the resistance, uh, resistance uh, of the RTD is 101.8 ohm. Uh, if the temperature is uh, 212 uh, Fahrenheit degree, the resistance is 138.8 ohms. Uh, this is a, a calibration for the RTD. Uh, if the uh, resistance is 101.8 ohm, then the output temperature is 32 Fahrenheit degree. And if the resistance is 138.8 ohms, and then the output temperature is 212 Fahrenheit degree. So this one is uh, okay. Then close it. And check the zoom set point. Uh, zoom set point. Zoom set point, the signal is SA bus. SA bus the, is the, uh, the thermostat. Uh, the thermostat is connected to as a bus, uh, so it's the connection is okay. And double double click. Uh, the default uh, default value for the set point is uh, seventy two, uh, which is fine. Uh, you can set seventy or lower or higher. Uh, it's it's uh, you can change uh, this default value. Uh, and for this set point. Uh, the set point, uh, the it's operator over the right. So which means the operator or the uh, uh, the, the people uh, in the uh, in the building they can change this set point. Uh, they can change this set point. Uh, so this one it's okay. So we uh, close it and then we check the uh, zone temperature. Uh, this is the thermostat sensor sends the room temperature, uh, says the room temperature. This signal, it's from SA bus, uh, so it's from the thermostat. So this one, the signal from SA bus is correct. And then double click. Uh, this is the uh, uh, zone temperature. Uh, the room temperature, now the de default uh, is 72, it's fine. The sensor will sense the room temperature. Okay. Then let's check the uh, occupancy sensor. Uh, occupancy sensor. Occupancy sensor. You see the signal is as a bus. Uh, the occupancy sensor is come with the thermostat. Uh, so the uh, the signal is from uh, as a bus. So uh, the signal is correct, and then. Double click. Uh, this sensor, occupancy sensor, you can see here, uh, the default value is unoccupied. Default value is unoccupied. So, which means uh, no uh, default, is no people in the building. So, it's unoccupied. And here, it's unoccupied for this, uh, for this sensor. Uh, so this value is uh, from uh, occupancy sensor, right? so it's, it's good. And then close it. Uh, this is an input set uh, set point, uh, set point. And also we need to uh, check the uh, air, uh, supply airflow calculation. Uh, this one is for the system. They calculate. Uh, for the system, calculate the airflow. Uh, the calculator airflow. Uh, this is the duct. 
uh, this duct, the air flow uh, through this duct. The air flow is how much? Then we click it. The air flow through the duct depends on the, uh, the cross area uh, and the velocity of the air flow. The velocity of the air flow depends the, the sensor here is an input to the controller. And uh, now we calibrate the, uh, the duct size. Uh, duct size. This duct is six inches. Uh, the diameter uh, is six inches. So if six inches, then yeah, yeah this one can be low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's uh, this one. Uh, the area, uh, the duct, the cross area here, uh, if uh, the diameter of the duct is six inches. The cross area is a point, a point, uh, point one eight, uh, point one eight, uh, zero point, uh, zero point one eight uh, uh, square feet, uh, square feet. And the uh, we set the pickup gain is uh, set to ze uh, zero. Set, set to zero, and then uh, apply. This one just uh, for the system to calculate the airflow. Uh, I close it, and then we ca uh, we check the output uh, output signal. If now we check the uh, output signal. Uh, output here, you see the this uh, damper position. Uh, the first one. Uh, position. This is uh, integrated. Uh, integrated. So this is an uh, internal signal. Uh, we don't need to change anything. And then we turn the light. Uh, this turn light on the lighting system. Uh, lighting system. Uh, click it. Double click. We see this value. The value for this one. You see, default is off. It means if. Uh, the building is unoccupied, the light is off. Uh, the light is off, so the default value is off. And here, default uh, is off, the unit is on off. Uh, so uh, the setting here is correct, okay? Close. And then we check the uh, occupancy mode, uh, op occupancy mode. Uh, double click. Uh, this is the, uh, the occupancy sensor. Sense the uh, uh, the building. Uh, sense the building. Is there any people? Uh, and then I'll put the signal to here. Uh, I'll put the signal here. So the default, uh, the default is unoccupied. Uh, it's unoccupied. And here the operator can change. Uh, the value is override. And uh, see, so you can see over there, also you change to unoccupied. Uh, just a click the, yeah, click it. Make it set. Uh, uh, add it, uh, and then click it to change to unoccupied, yeah. And this is a, uh, uh, that's okay, uh, that's okay. Then uh, we uh, apply, and then close. And here, this is the heating, uh, heating will turn, the controller uh, will turn on the uh, heating system. For this heating system, uh, default is off. Uh, no, no people, uh, or the schedule is unoccupied, and then it's off. Uh, so the default value is off, uh, so it's correct. Default value is off, and the unit is on off. Okay. So it's correct. So we close it. So we have, uh, we have checked all input, output uh, value variables. Uh, now we uh, also we need to uh, check the uh, def uh, the controllers, uh, the device, which is a defined. How well? Uh, 
five half L. And this one, uh, you can see the controllers. It's not the, the, the one we are use, using. The one we are using is the FX, FX PCV 1832. Now it's uh, 1630, so we need to uh, select the one we have, we are using. Uh, draw down. So, 18 here, and then okay, yeah. Uh, here I show you the, uh, uh, the controller's name, uh, or the project name. Uh, this is a, we, we make the program, uh, and the program is this name. This name, this is for the uh, PC, uh, PCB controller, so it's okay. And then here, you can see this is the controller's name, or the program's name. Here's the controller mod, uh, mod, uh, model number. Here, yeah, this is the one we are using. Uh, now we check the points assigned. Yeah, you can see here, uh, it, this is an input, uh, input, uh, input here. Uh, this input is a supply air temperature. Uh, this is a, a R, <laughs> RTD sensor. Uh, RTD sensor sends the air supply air temperature. Uh, this, this is the RTD sensor. RTD sensor, it install universal input. Uh, universal input, input one. Uh, so this one, uh, it, the, the point is correct. Uh, the point is correct here. And this uh, uh, discharge air velocity pressure sen uh, sensor here. It's an uh, internal. Uh, you can see this is an uh, analog input. Uh, input one, uh, input one, but it's internal signal, uh, internal. Uh, and here, this is the light, lighting, uh, lighting output. Uh, this is a lighting output. Uh, lighting output, output is a binary. Binary uh, output, the output is one. Uh, output one, uh, it's here. Output one, binary output, it's output one is here, these two terminals, uh, these two terminals. Uh, later, we connect this output to the, uh, 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 to the equipment, uh, to the equipment. And, and this is the, uh, the heating equipment, uh, heating equipment. This is also a binary output. Binary output is the output two, uh, which is uh, here. Uh, output two here. Uh, output two here. So we we use these two output signal to control some equipment in the trainer. Uh, in the trainer. And here, uh, here, you see the uh, damper position. Uh, damper position here. This is a uh, uh, output. Output here. This is an internal output. Uh, here is an internal output. Uh, this is a uh, for the uh, uh, for the damper. Uh, for the damper. So it's okay. Maybe it's okay. And then we check the uh, network network setting here. Uh, and the network setting here. Uh, this is the Controller model number. Uh, this is the name of the controller. Uh, here, this is the device address. Uh, device address, we can set up the device address. Uh, device address, it's a uh, dip switch. Yeah, use dip switch to set up the uh, controller address. The instant number, uh, we can set this one. 11, uh, and this one 11. The instant number is the backnet ID number. Uh, we set them, uh, any number you can set, uh, but uh, no repeat in the system. Uh, so now we set 11 here, right? 11 here. And then it's, good, it's complete, and then close. 
now we check, uh, we check the input output setting. We check the uh, controller, and uh, we check the controller and the device. Now we uh, download the program from the computer to the controller. Uh, for this uh, PCT, uh, for this PCT, the, uh, the, the version is 10.2. So 10.2, uh, to load the program to the controller, use a transfer. Uh, transfer, uh, uh, transfer to device is a download the program from computer to the device. So click it. Yeah. Here we'll ask you, uh, you, do you save the changes? Yeah, we, yes, uh, because we complete, uh, we, we, we check the uh, input output. Uh, and we do some, uh, we did some changes. Uh, so we, uh, we uh, save the changes. Uh, here, this is the Bluetooth. Uh, the compute, com uh, Bluetooth setting. Uh, the computer communicates uh, uh, with the controller uh, through Bluetooth. Uh, for the for this Bluetooth setting, uh, one is the the, uh, the bound rate. Uh, bound rate. Uh, this one you can you can see here. There are different values here. Uh, the, for this system, uh, it is recommend to use 38,400. Uh, 38, uh, this is a system rec recommended. Uh, so select the, this one. The Bluetooth comport, this uh, depends the computer. Uh, so here we need to check the Bluetooth. No, here, here. Check the, uh, yeah, check the uh, Bluetooth device in the computer. I show you the device here. Uh, the, uh, here, here will list all Bluetooth device in this area. Uh, you see, just uh, select the one you are using. Uh, here, we. This Bluetooth uh, here, the MAC address is uh, last six digits. No, last six digits. It's D four ninety seven seven C. D four ninety seven C here. So it's connected. It's paired. Ah, it's paired. So it's connected. But we need to check the uh, the COM port for this Bluetooth device. So we come to the uh, computer here in the control panel. Uh, control panel and then to the uh, view device and printers. And see the uh, here, the Bluetooth device are here, uh, which is this one we are using. Uh, so Double click, and here, and then to uh, service. Here will indicate the COM port here. Uh, it's loading, uh, the COM port 4. So here is a COM, uh, uh, in this computer, uh, in this computer, COM port 4 is for this Bluetooth. So we OK, you remember it? OK, close. And then here, you input comport four, uh, comport four, and then uh, next. So here, uh, it, well, you can see here it's connecting, uh, it's connecting the computer connecting with the Bluetooth uh, and the controller. Connection sphere. Uh, why? So uh, the COM port is correct, uh, which means the computer with the Bluetooth is correct. But the, here, the, the connection is fair, which are probably the address for the uh, controller. Uh, 
So let's check. Uh, let's check the uh, controller uh, address. Here is so we need to. S uh, here the address is incorrect. Here's the only eight. So we set this one eleven. Now uh, because uh, the now the address for this controller is eleven because uh, uh, the uh, the program uh, the controller uh, the controller address we set it's eleven. So now we set here it's eleven. Okay, now uh, here is okay, next. And then, uh, uh, select, yeah, connecting now. So we finish and uh, load the program uh, to the controller. Now we simulate, uh, we simulate the, uh, this program. Uh, Click, simulate. Here, on this page, on this page, we we'll show you different, uh, uh, different input, uh, different input and output. Here, now we start uh, simulation. This is a uh, interface of simulations. Let me make a wider. You can see here, uh, this one, this value is zero. Uh, this one, uh, this is occupancy sensor. Uh, now, uh, default is unoccupied. Uh, the discharge air velocity pressure uh, is zero because uh, the system is off. The system is off. And uh, here, this is the supply air temperature. Uh, supply te air temperature, not the uh, simulation mode. Uh, it's a default, it's a 55, uh, 55 Fahrenheit degree. Uh, this is the set point, uh, we just check, we check. Uh, uh, thermostat set point. Uh, default right now is 72. And zone temperature, not uh, uh, 72. Uh, this side, this side, uh, input. Here, this is the output. Because the system is off, uh, the damper is closed. Uh, damper is closed. And the uh, lighting, because the uh, occupancy sensor here is unoccupied. Unoccupied, the occupancy mode output is unoccupied. And then the lighting, it's off. And the heating, you can see here, uh, it's off. Here it's off. And because the, uh, the zoom temperature setting, uh, uh, zoom temperature setting, uh, set point, uh, zoom set point is 72. And the zoom temperature here is 72. So uh, they are saying the heating source it's off. It's off. Now we simulate. Uh, click, right click. Uh, right click, you can see uh, this box. Uh, this is a common. Uh, common. Click. Common here, and then uh, click the common here. Click. Uh, and then you can see here, this is an input value. And uh, now, now the value is unoccupied. We change this value to occupied. Then see what will happen for the program. Uh, then OK. And then here is a testing, uh, it's a testing occupied. Then send. You can see here, the occupancy sensor, now it, the value is Occupied, uh, occupied. So you can see the output uh, occupancy sensor mode. Uh, this mode it's occupied, so the lights it's on. Right? 
and say, let's see here, like the uh, set point here. Uh, the set point here, and then com comment, uh, we change, uh, we change this value. Uh, we set temperature higher. Uh, the set point is higher than the zoom temperature. Then the heating, uh, heating should, uh, should be uh, start. Uh, so we change this one, uh, let's say 80, uh, 80, yeah, here, and then click here, uh, change this one, 80, uh, 80, change to 80, yeah, and then OK, and testing 80 uh, set point. Uh, Set point 80. Send. Now the set point is 80 Fahrenheit degree. Uh, 80 Fahrenheit degree. And then the, it's higher than the zoom temperature. Uh, so the heating is on. Uh, so the heating is on. Now we uh, set back this value again. This value. Command. Uh, command. And then change back to unoccupied. Uh, or restore. Uh, OK. And send. And then you uh, set unoccupied. And here it's unoccupied. And then it's, uh, uh, it should be off but uh, the time will be a little delayed. Uh, um, continue here. This one, if we set the temperature, uh, the set point, uh, this one, if we set the temperature, it's uh, lower, uh, lower than this, this temperature, and then uh, the heating should be off. Uh, you see heating should be off. Here it's also because the uh, uh, it's unoccupied off, and then it's, uh, the system is off. Uh, system is off. Uh, uh, I'll set this one. Uh, OK command. Uh, and set uh, here. Uh, set uh, occupy here. Yeah. And then OK. Send. Yeah. And then here it's occupied. Uh, uh, this is occupied. It's on. Uh, it's on. The heating is on because it's occupied. Uh, the heating is on. Uh, now we set this point, uh, this one, uh, set this one to lower. Uh, uh, set this one. Lower than room temperature, um, zone temperature. Set this one, command. And then we and then make a like 60, 64. Okay, and then okay. Now the set point is six, uh, 60, the lower than this temperature. So the uh, heating is it, off, but this one is still on. Right. Uh, now, we take this one, set this one, uh, command, and then we set, uh, set it back to unoccupied. Uh, set unoccupied. OK, and send. Here, it's unoccupied. The, here, it's uh, unoccupied. It should be, the lighting should be off. Uh, but now, it's still on, but a little bit time delayed. Uh, uh, this is the, in the, in the system computer, uh, on the computer, you can test 
Uh, you can test, uh, si uh, simulate the program. It's working properly or not. This is uh, how to do the simulation for the program. Now we complete the simulations. Uh, now we, uh, uh, we test the commission. We, we, run the, we run the commission. commission. So click it and then uh, check this one. It's, it's OK. And the computer is uh, compo uh, comport 8. It's OK. okay. Next. This is the controller we are using. This is a controller. The VB box, I mean the uh, two, 2021. The model number is uh, FX, FX PCV 1832. And then next, we finish. This is the uh, in interface of commissioning. Here you can see uh, the program is running. Uh, the program is running in the system. Uh, here we will show you the uh, <coughs> like the damper, uh, like the damper, uh, discharge, uh, discharge air velo velocity pressure. Now it's zero. Because the uh, the blower is not start yet, uh, not start yet. The occupancy sensor we use a bag to cover the occupancy occupancy sensor, which uh, which is unoccupied. Uh, unoccupied, uh, the uh, output mode is unoccupied. Uh, the light is off. Uh, and right now. Uh, this is supply air temperature, which is a RTD. We connect RTD, sense the discharge air. Uh, supply air temperature uh, is uh, 56 now. Because uh, this, this value uh, is still is changing. And this is the set point of the thermostat. Uh, right now, it's uh, 68. And the room temperature. The room temperature is uh, 75. Uh, now this one is still changing. Uh, so the color see, shows the color red here. Um, so output here is the uh, heating. Uh, it's off. Uh, it's off. Now we simulate. Uh, we commission. Uh, we simulate uh, to change the. Uh, Zone temperature. To, uh, change the zone temperature. And, and the set point. To change this to you can see what's happened to the, uh, to the system. So from here, uh, commission, uh, the uh, commissioning interface, you can see the system operation. You see the system operation. Now the occupancy sensor. It's, uh, it's covered, so it's unoccupied. Uh, unoccupied, the uh, occupancy mode is unoccupied. The lighting is off. Uh, we test the occupancy sensor first. Uh, we test the occupancy sen sensor first. We ju I just uh, opened the back. The back. I opened the back, and then uh, the, uh, the sensor sends the people in the room. And then here should be occupied, out, output occupied signal, and the light should be on. Uh, uh, this is the uh, occupancy sensor. I use a, use a bag to cover it. Now I open it. Uh, the occupancy sensor should send the people in the room. And then I'll put the signal to turn on the light. You can see 
now it uh, occupies. Uh, it sends the occupies. Then the light is on. Uh, the light is on. Right? Uh, so this is the occupancy sensor. Uh, it sends the when the back is open, the sensor sends the people in the room. Uh, I'll put a signal to turn on the lights. You can see the light is on. Uh, the light is on. Original is off. So, so once the occupancy, uh, occupancy sensor, uh, once the once the occupancy sensor uh, it's open, uh, and then you will change the value to uh, occupied as a, it sends the people in the room, in the room, and so the uh, uh, output uh, occupancy output the signal it's occupied. And then the light, light is on. So you can see the light is on. Now we test uh, the uh, set point. We test this set point. This is a double step. Uh, we test this double step. If we increase, uh, increase the set point from the uh, double step, and then the uh, state here, the heating will be changed. This is the thermostat. Uh, the thermostat. Now the set point is a 68. Uh, the set point is a 68. Uh, 68. Now we uh, increase uh, increase the set point uh, higher than the room temperature. The room temperature now is 74.5. Uh, 74.5. So we increase the set point. Uh, we increase the set point. Uh, 70, 72, 73, 75, 6. OK. Uh, now the set point is 78. Uh, 78, the room temperature is 74.5. So uh, the thermostat should call for heat. Uh, call for heat. So, uh, yeah, 78, right? So it's called for heat. So the heating should be on, right? So from the computer, you can see uh, the set point now is set at 78.2 Fahrenheit degree. The room temperature is 74.9. Uh, so the set point is higher than the room temperature. So the thermostat will call for heat. Uh, call for heat. You can see here, uh, the, uh, the heating is on. It's on. Now we test uh, the occupancy sensor. We use a uh, cover. I uh, use the back to cover back again. Uh, cover it back again to see what will happen. Uh, now this is the thermostat. Now I use a bag uh, to cover it again. Uh, to put it uh, to the back. I just uh, put the thermostat uh, to the back uh, to cover it. Uh, uh, let's see uh, what will happen for the occupancy. Uh, you see the, the light, uh, these two lights is uh, still on. Uh, this is a uh, uh, lighting, this is a uh, heating equipment. The heating is still on. Still on. Uh, now it's off. Uh, now the uh, occupancy sensor is still on. Still on. Then uh, because uh, there are some uh, debates uh, here, it's uh, still on. Still on. Uh, just uh, wait some time. Now you can see it's unoccupied. Uh, it's unoccupied uh, the, here. It's unoccupied and here. Uh, should be off, uh, but the uh, same, a little bit delayed. From the computer, uh, 
uh, you see, you, you see uh, the occupancy sensor. Yeah. Uh, it unoccupied. Uh, the output mode, uh, output uh, occupancy mode is unoccupied. Uh, the light should be on. Uh, now, the light is still on. Uh, the light is still on. It's uh, a little bit delayed. Um, uh, here uh, you can see the si um, system here. Oh, see now it's off. Uh, the light is off. Uh, on the off. the light is off. Uh, on the computer. On the computer here. Uh, on the uh, commissioning uh, interface, uh, you can see the light is off. Now we are commissioning the. Uh, discharge air, uh, discharge air. You can see here uh, the motor, the blower is stuck. The blower is stuck. You can see the input here. So, uh, the uh, discharge air velocity pressure is 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.01. So you can see the air flow, uh, air flow. So this amount uh, here and. Um, Zero, because it's a uh, hundred percent. Why? You see the flow, air flow, uh, is changing. Air flow, but the value is uh, close. We, we stop the fan. You see here. Now fan it stopped. Now the fan is stopped. Uh, discharge air velocity pressure is zero. Is zero. And then here, they get uh, smaller, smaller. Really. Now I use my hand to heat uh, the supply air temperature sensor. So the temperature goes higher, goes higher. This uh, supply air temperature also will give, send, uh, give a, a signal for the damper uh, for the damper control, uh, for the damper control. So this is a uh, how to commission the program. We uh, we test uh, the set point. Uh, we test set point. We test the occupancy sensor.